hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET using Ajax how to implement the progress bar when searching records from database with a drop down list control after I reload the browser here we got the final output now I'm selecting the Jack details search so here we got the progress bar and we got the employee details of the Jack now let's select Gobin search here we got the Gobin details Charan got Charan details if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial I am creating a new ASP.NET web application go to file new project and from the templates I'm selecting web ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1 the application name is progress bar search drop down list click ok and from the templates I'm selecting empty ok And the project is created successfully open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding a new web form page right click the project name click add I'm selecting web form the item name I'm not changing click OK and here we got the source page of the newly created web form 1.aspx page and this source page contains simple HTML5 code. Now between form and do tag, I'm adding center tag. I'm adding h1, implementing progress bar when searching records from database with drop down list control h2 asp.net using ajax after that i'm adding horizontal line <coughs> now after the horizontal line i'm adding the script manager tag open toolbox I'm minimizing the standard folder Ajax extension folder I'm expanding that one here we got the script manager let's add that in the source page and here we got the script manager after that I'm adding two more Ajax controls again open toolbox at this time I'm adding update panel and update progress now in the update panel I'm adding the drop down list control content template inside this content template I'm adding open toolbox and expanding the standard folder drop down list control after that I'm adding a button control open toolbox button control let's change the IDs of the drop down list control DDL the ID of the drop down list such and the button ID I'm changing to but such and the button text property I'm changing to such records now after the button control I'm adding a grid view control open toolbox again come to the bottom I'm expanding the data folder here is the grid view control let's add that one after that after that in the update progress I'm adding progress template in this progress template I'm adding the progress bar GIF image let's add the GIF image in our project open solution explorer 
I'm creating a new folder name right click the project name add new folder the folder name I'm giving image I right click the image add existing item the if the diff image is at the desktop here is a gif image the loading image and here the gif image is added after that just drag and drop this image inside the progress template let's add the height and width 30 and the width also I'm adding 30 that's it we have done the designing part now the next step open server explorer let's add the database name in the data connections folder right click the data connections add connection the server name i'm adding my sql server name after adding server name now i'm selecting the database name sample db is my user database i have selected test connection is succeeded okay okay And notice the sample db.dbo is added under data connections. We require the data source of this sample db. Right click the sample db.dbo. Go to properties. In the properties, there is a connection string which contains the data source. Just copy the data source. Open solution explorer. In the project, there is a web.config file. Open that one. In the web.config file, inside the configuration, I'm adding connection strings. Add name is equals to my connection. Is a connection string name and the connection string. I'm adding the data source which I have copied. The provider name. The provider name is a SQL Server. So I'm adding system dot data dot SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web dot config file, again switch back to the source page right click the mouse go to view code now in the page load event now now in the code behind the first thing i'm adding the sql server namespaces using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client using system dot configuration now in the page load event i'm adding if not page dot is post back now in this page load inside the if condition my first aim is I want to bind the data in the drop down list control so let's write the coding part string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes now between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is my connection copy this one paste here dot connection string sql connection sql con is equals to new sql connection i'm adding main con this object string sql query is equals to here the sql query is a select statement now before writing the select statement let's open the SQL Server Management Studio we'll check the table and the column names the table name is the EMP table which contains five columns EMP ID, EMP name, designation, department and join date now I want to bind this EMP name the employee names into the drop down list control let's bind this EMP name copy this dbo.emp table select start from dbo.emp table after that let's open the connection open and close high school conduct close method now between open and close I'm adding SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command now the SQL command takes two parameters the first one is the SQL query mm, SQL query 
command text and the second parameter is a connection object which is this one SQL con semicolon after that SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I am adding the SQL command object data table DT is equals to new data table I am filling the data table as your dot fill DT after that DDL search which is a drop down list ID dot data text field is equals to the text field I'm adding the column name of the employee name this one I want to bind copy this one and paste here semicolon DDL search dot data value field is equals to I'm adding the auto generate column which is a employee ID let's bind the data source to the drop down list control ddl search dot data source is equals to I am adding the data table object and the final step let's add the data bind method that's it up to now we have just finished the first part the employee name from the EMP table is binded into this drop down list control. Let's check the output Google Chrome. And here we got our first output. Notice the EMP name from the EMP table is binded into this drop down list control. And my next target is when I use a select any particular employee name for example Chris then click the button control now before displaying the data I want to display the progress bar after that I want to show the results in a grid view control so let's write the rest of the code switch back to the coding part again stop debugging switch to the source page now we need the button click event so design go to the design page double click the button control it will generate the button click event now when the button click event instead of writing the same code just copy this part I'm adding here string sql query is equals to here the sql query is select start from the table name is a dbo.emp table copy this one paste here from emp where emp name is equals to here the employee name we are selecting from the drop down list control so let's add that object value between single quotes plus plus double quotes and double quotes between plus plus I'm adding the drop down list such dot selected item semicolon once add the SQL query let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL con dot close method I will be in a close and open method SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters the first one is the SQL query and the connection object SQL con SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter I'm adding SQL command object data table dt is equals to new data table sga.fill method I'm adding the data table object so after that after that I want to display the selected employee details in a grid view control so let's add the grid view one which is a grid view control id dot data source is equals to 
dt data table object bind the data grid view one dot data bind method that's it we are getting the selected employee name details into a grid view controller but before display the records i want to show the progress bar so in the button click event i'm adding thread so thread class is belongs to using system dot threading namespace thread dot sleep and the sleep mode i'm adding 2000 semicolon that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the final results on the browser i'm reloading the browser link After I reload the browser, here we got the final output. Now I'm selecting the Jack details search. So here we got the progress bar and we got the employee details of the Jack. Now let's select Gobin search. Here we got the Gobin details. Charan. Got Charan details. That's it.